That's such a good song. I like that. The vocals on it are pretty um, cool as well. Very, very good vocals on that. Thanks. Yeah, great vocals. Thanks. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, excellent. Oh. oh. Um, um, if you were to turn down your speakers, um, I'm getting a big, a big echo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I did. Yeah, the player. Um, yeah, great vocals. Um, who, who, who's the vocalist again? His name is Brunette Chalmer. Brunette, yeah, uh, brilliant, uh, brilliant artist, brilliant singer. Where do you find him from? I, I, we, was he with you in the original lineup? Yeah, exactly. We've been playing together since two thousand and six. Yeah, yeah. By, by the time we started playing together, we were just playing covers that time. Yeah. So what sort of covers would you uh, be playing um, in your cover set? Um, in the cover set? Yeah. Um, in Snakewood or before? Uh, before, You know, when you were first started, you were playing covers. Uh, okay. Uh, when we first started, uh, we were uh, a kind of hard rock and heavy metal band. Yeah. And um, what we were used to, we used to play Iron Maiden, Metallica, yeah. West. As far as I can remember, we were playing except Skid Row. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. So you had a bit, you had a big strong mixture of the sort of the almost thrash um, side of the uh, market. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> but um, um, then you then you sort of changed, you know, to a more of a um, as it says here, you've got rebellion and rock. Um, inner conflicts basically um, and uh, rock and roll uh, define the uh, philosophy behind your band uh, blending hard rock heavy metal punk even and melodic rock basically and uh, what does N-W-O-B-H actually it is a new wave of British heavy metal ah right new wave of British heavy metal ah right okay you see I'm not used to these um, acronyms yet on this <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um, can I just say how well um, I'm very very impressed in your English uh, thanks and uh, actually I uh, studied English for a long time yeah it's a lot better than my Turkish <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what's um, you know you've got this tour hopefully uh, coming off uh, very soon, and uh, hopefully, um, as I said, probably the middle of March. Middle of March, will, yeah, will be the start of the tour in yeah. Turkey. Yeah, and, that's great. Uh, we are planning to make it a kind of one or two months tour. Ah, right. So, what size venues are we looking at here? What, what, how big are the venues? Well, they're usually uh, two to three hundred people. Right, right. And uh, but also we're just looking into some big festivals during this time. Yeah, and, which yeah. can just allow us to play in front of uh, thousands of people. Yeah, yeah. What sorts of fe festivals do you have at, uh, in Turkey? We have big festivals yeah. usually in the summer. Right. But yeah. uh, before the summer, it's usually university festivals. All right. And what sort of bands? You know, are there any big name bands that play at these festivals? Or uh, in a university? Uh, no, it's usually local bands. Uh, right. Uh, big names in Turkey, but uh, no foreign bands usually. Right. Ah, right. But, okay. but for the summertime, uh, it's usually uh, big names coming to Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's a good venue. Um, I've uh, I've heard a lot of now. Um, although you know, it, it, you know, until recently, I, I like I said in the, at the top of the interview is that I I didn't really associate Turkey with rock music, <laughs> but um, you know, I've having done a little bit of research, you know, it, you know, it's a thriving it's a thriving uh, community over there now. Yes, but uh, you know what? I think I have to say this. We're a little bit, I mean, Snaker is a little bit out of the line in Turkey. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if you ever had a chance to uh, check the local market here. There are many rock bands, but actually uh, the music we're playing is not the same. Right. So it's a little bit more a uh, mixture of Turkish music and rock music together. Right. So, so you've got... It's not in the extent you you imagine rock music. It's yeah. a little bit different. We have a, we have a band... Um, that we play on a regular basis who are actually from Tunisia. Um, they're called My Wrath, um, if you've ever heard of them. But they've got, they use a blend of Eastern influences um, mixed with the modern hard rock genre. Um, uh -huh. Similar to yourself, but it's got that very, very, very Eastern feel to it as well, Eastern flavor. Have you ever thought of, you know, a, 
are you gonna do you, do you experiment a lot yourselves as a band you know going down that route uh, we do experiment a lot but not in the way they do I mean, uh, to be honest with you, I don't like Eastern influences too much. Ah, right. So, uh, and the same for the other folks in the band. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we never thought about mixing the uh, Oriental and that's, the Western music together. Yeah, that's that has never been in our uh, <laughs> interest so far. Yeah. And uh, yeah. to be honest with you, I don't think we will do that in the future as well. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I mean, there's a there's another one, another Eastern band apparently, a band called Time Sailor, um, who I think are from Tur. Where are they? Are they from Turkey? Oh <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Brian will probably tell me where they're from uh, in a minute. But um, yeah, so you you got this tour coming. Um, hopefully, there's going to be European tour, and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to see you play in the UK. Hopefully that's the plan. <laughs> that'd be great. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. You have to come over here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll. Oh, that, that time sailor are from Turkey. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's the band to look out for. That's the band to look out for. So um, yeah, well, guy, I, I must admit, um, I'm going to try and pronounce your name, Serhan Serhan uh, Akalin. You're right. Not yeah. nice. That was a nice pronunciation. Right, uh, so you're the guitarist, and um, I look forward to um, hearing more from you. Are you going to be going into the studio again to record shortly, soon? Oh, not in the near future. Not in the near future. Uh, you've got to. You've got I to mean, get this. we have it. First of all, we just go out and play. Yeah. But uh, we're still working on uh, new songs for yeah. the next album. That's good. But, but I think we will not go into the studio to record them before yeah. next year. Yeah. Yeah. We. Well, yeah, the second album's always always difficult, difficult anyway, you know. Especially now you've made such a good first impression. Downtown to Ghetto, I must admit, is definitely one of my um, favorite releases so far this year. Um, it's good to hear that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite releases. I play I play it a lot um, on the radio, so you know it's a it's a really good album. I also like to listen to it when I'm not on the radio, <laughs> so it's very very good to listen to. It's a great a great album. Lots of uh, different styles in it, uh, but uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Same here. Yeah, real pleasure talking to you. I look forward to um, um, hearing what you come out with uh, next. Now the song I'm gonna, um, I've got a couple of tracks to to play um, off the album uh, before before um, you know we finish. Uh, but uh, the song torn apart. Uh, when I was listening to this, it was about. Uh, it, it seemed to be about somebody um, torn in two. Well, you can say that. I mean, not uh, literally. Not of. Not obviously. Not literally. You know, it's a metaphor. <laughs> but, exactly. Uh, but is that is that more or less right, or is there, is there something? You're else? right. You're yeah. you're right about the idea. That song is about a person actually trying to make some tough decisions about his life. Right, and, uh, and he has some kind of rebellion, and he just looks at people, and he's not happy with uh, what's going on, and right. he just tries to uh, find his own way. Right. Now that would make a good video. This song uh, would definitely make a good video, but of course you can't tell me much about the uh, video. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I promise you, you will be one of the first. Yeah. Will. <laughs> Figure out about the first video. Oh yeah, well I I I'll t I I try I try my best to try and get it out for you folks, but unfortunately they're very tight lipped. So, but um, now tell us a little bit about Thief in the Night before before we go. Okay, um, Thief in the Night is also um, one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, I think it's one of the songs that really uh, shows our influences. Yeah. About Def Leppard because. Uh, when you just look at the vocals and and just the music line, it's something in that sense, I guess. Yeah. And uh, about the music, it's about actually, it's about sex. And yeah. the song is <laughs> just trying to hey. pick up a chick. That's yeah. about the whole idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's that yeah that's a good that's a good title for that sort of thing, and I can definitely def, definitely see those eighties influences going in that one definitely so. That song is one of them uh, which uh, which are really eighties stuff. Yeah, definitely. That was when it that's when it was all about. Oh, I mean, when you think about it, you know, if you go right down through pop history, 
you know, most songs, if you if you listen to them, are all about sex anyway. So, <laughs> they've got they've got the, they're all based in sex anyway. You know, it's it, you know it's sexual it's sexual um, um, you know something something sexual going on somewhere um, in sex. We we had a discussion. I met, met me and my wife had a discussion about this once. You know, about all the songs that we listen to, and um, that we'd listen to the words of yeah, that's about sex. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, it, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's uh, my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on the album. I think it's fantastic. Um, where, before you go, where can people buy the album if they want to get it? Uh, actually, it is available on uh, most of the big stores, yeah. digital stores such as iTunes, Amazon. Yeah. And uh, I think the other one was Spotify. Yeah. And uh, it is also present in uh, on our Facebook page because we have a CD store, uh, CD Baby Link yeah. as a distributor, so yeah. they can just pick up the album from uh, our Facebook page as well. Yeah, that's where I got that's where I got the album from was from CD Baby. Um, so, uh, so you purchased it? I purchased the album. I bought the album <laughs> myself. Yes, I, 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 I do like to do that now and then. <laughs> so, <laughs> such a good album. It really is fantastic. So, Thanks for buying it. Then. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I got the, I got a few tracks off Rob. You know, Rob Saunders sent me a few. Oh, okay, uh, you didn't uh, have, have the whole huh? He sent me, no, he just sent me three tracks. Um, you know, okay. the, the, ba the basic ones that were on Airplay Direct at the time, and um, I was so impressed with them, I had to go and buy the album. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was really impressed, really glad I did as well. So, um, it's so worth buying, guys. Um, so, um, yeah, thank you very, very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, uh, or please uh, give your appreciation to, um, if I see if I can remember your name again. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you pronounce your name. You pronounce your name. I've forgotten my name. I've forgotten your name already. <laughs> okay, yeah, just Sohan is good. That's him. Sohan. Sohan, give it, give, give you, give you, show your appreciation. That's it. Not too much. We don't want to give you a big head, but um, no, I must admit, I, uh, I'm hopeless with names, and uh, I, uh, I, I, I forget very quickly. <laughs> it's I know it's a little bit difficult for you to pronounce.